welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm going to be reacting to Youngblood's new album, Weird, with an exclamation point. I've been very excited for this album, especially because I have never been a part of a virtual concert before, but like, it was very cool. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm excited to dive into this album. Let's react to it together. Like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week and uh, let's start this. Stop it now. What is this anthem? Please let a girl know. Like what? I love what I hear Youngblood's voice. Just and piano. I don't know why. And then the like, I'm pretty sure the instrumentals are gonna come in. I'm getting like, welcome to the Black Parade kind of vibe from this song. Um, <laughs> I just love hearing his voice without anything other than like a piano or like something so subtle. Because his voice is so strong, my god. <laughs> no! No! He did not just give me an anthem. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I was not expecting that! <laughs> like, I feel like... I know this is talking about a specific person, but at the same time, I feel like this is exactly like his fans as well. If you didn't know by my reaction, we're heart in that one. I, I definitely think Youngblood has this uh, call to arms kind of anthem going on that I really, really like. And for anything, this reminds me of the Black Parade. Oh, if y'all, y'all ain't heart in this song. <laughs> what? A very strong opening. Very strong. Oh. Goosebumps, goosebumps. Y'all know how much I love this song. I love this song. I play this song in my car. I play this song on, when I go to work. I play this song when I go to sleep. I love, love, love this song. I love the music video as well. Let's shortly listen to this and then go on to the next track. <laughs> to melt so badly into this song like I literally I, if I have ever wanted to melt into a song and be a song it's cotton candy with sexual songs like this I feel like everybody kind of wants to put themselves in like a box and be like I'm straight or I am gay or I'm lesbian or I'm bisexual and sometimes sexuality is not that way, like, sometimes you're just attracted to so many people. Like, it reminds me of a uh, Hosier song, um, Someone New. Every single day, I fall in love with someone new. Do I plan it? No. But it happens. But, oh. And then the music video for this oh. This solve all our problems. I love this song, Heart It. I love this song more than life. <laughs> Track three, Strawberry Lipstick. Uh, if you haven't seen my reaction to this song, I will put it right up here so you can go watch it. But we'll uh, shortly go through this track as well. Go to school, please. I want to bite all of your fingers, put them in my mouth. <laughs> okay. 
I also I've always wanted Youngblood to do like a makeup tutorial to this song. I don't know why, but I I I just want it. I just I I personally just want it. And I also think I love this song so much because it embodies so much of um, the underrated youth of that album a lot. So I love how this is a continuation with that, but it even seems more refined in this album. Like I can honestly see like the transitions better than with the last album, but at the same time it has his same kind of signature um, young blood, you know, uh, rebel. Uh, definitely colorful, definitely a little strawberries, but I love this song as an opener just because the music video, everything just kind of fell into place for that song and it was definitely right up his alley. <laughs> so uh, again, I'm gonna heart this song. Wow. Isn't this like so true? Because like doesn't people like on The Voice and on like American Idol do this, have dreams of this? I want to go to California, I want to be a big star, and once I get to be a big star everybody's gonna call me and everybody's gonna be super nice to me and like I'm gonna have everything I've ever wanted and blah 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 blah, blah. and literally sometimes it never even happens. Like think of all the stars that have been on The Voice, that have been on American Idol, who have won, that you never even hear about anymore. Is there, and I like the symbolism of if there's life on Mars, is there a actual place for me? <laughs> like, does this dream actually exist or am I just, you know, trying to think of something that's gonna keep me going? And also these emotions are right up my alley because I feel like, I, I personally feel like that every single day of my life. Irrelevant, like I'm tired all the time, I'm just like Ugh. But like that's the way everybody feels. It's a, it's a universal feeling and I love that he includes them in, in the songs. <laughs> going above and beyond for this oh my god is your vocal cords okay are you okay oh do you need an ice pack <laughs> We're heart in that song. I I mean, even as vocal cords at the end, you could just hear like he he's just giving it all for that song. So we're gonna heart that. Oh my gosh. Why is this giving me My Chemical Romance? Um, Danger Days. Oh, that who he, he he making me feel all types of way. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh man, I should not play this right now. Like, oof. This is like a song for me when I am in an angry <laughs> and I just want to throw everything around in my house and everything's just chaotic. chaos in this song I approve it's kind of remind me of even like 21 pilots a little bit oh ah. Ah. Oh, that song sounded amazing I have no idea what it meant uh, <laughs> But oh my gosh, let me go look at the lyricism again. Mom, dad, let me 
oh, okay, so that's where I got my mom and dad from. It was in the song. I was like, wait, mom, dad, let me please, let me be free to come off my feet. When you're making a baby in missionary, <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. Be prepared to accept them for what they're going to be. Wow. Wow. I love that. And he even goes on in the, further in the song. Oh, I can't travel back from this planet. They're lo they locked me in a room with a man with no manners. We don't care if you're black or you're white, Asian or sexually intertwined. Whoa. Whoa. I actually love this track. I love the way it sounded. I love the way it, uh, the message in it. Oh, God. Every song. Oh, my God. Is this going to be a gold hearted album? I already can't wait to put in my headphones and just be like. <laughs> yeah. Leave me to was protecting my sisters from all the coats and the blood that my mom and dad would. Sweetheart, you are. You are the only exception. Ah! I don't know why that song just came into my head, but that's what happened. Oh, but again, I love how this is a different love song. I love comparing love songs about different like bands and everything about love. Oh man, the line about him protecting his sisters because he didn't want like his parents arguing to kind of affect them and their choices of love. I think that's what he was trying to say. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but like, what a way to look at love. And like, whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot there. Like, what happens when you get into these relationships and you don't really love yourself to begin with? <laughs> like, nobody ever taught us how to love ourselves. So when we meet these people and we actually start feeling these ways, nobody ever taught us to love ourselves. So how the hell are we supposed to love? <gasps> Yee! Are you kidding me? I love it. In case you didn't know. We're hearting it. I'm only a minute 20 seconds in the song. Parting it. song my god jesus this album has no skips none i have not skipped one song sus <laughs> god save me but don't drown me out i was gonna upload a reaction video to this but like i never got to it but i love the song i love the music video i love the meaning <sighs> we'll go through it shortly oh my god You mentioned that if you haven't been driving around blasting the song and singing this on the top of your lungs, you have I won't let I just I love the meaning of this song because so many people can relate. God save Heart it. We love it. 
Ice Cream by Selena Gomez in black print. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't think that's it. I don't think this is it. <laughs> Why is this reminding me of song? Like, this is a throwback. I feel it inside my... What song went like that? Oh, I need a phone friend. This is like that time in Jeopardy. Or, um, what is it? Who wants to be a millionaire when you can, t like, hear it inside your brain and but you can't, like, tell and you just need to phone a friend? But you have no friends. <laughs> oh, shit. Memory lapse. If you know the song, put it down in the comment section to help a girl out. Ooh. I was paying attention so hard to the lyricism, but like I, uh, who rebellion? I love it. I'm not sure if I love this song yet. It's gonna have to grow on me. I'm giving it a heart, just but but I feel like that song's gonna have to grow on me a little bit more because I didn't really connect as hard to the lyricism as I did the other songs. But again, I think it's just because it's a new song, but man, da, da, na, 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 na. oh, oh, love, oh, love it. Another thing that it reminded me of, love song kind of reminded me of the 1975, and this is kind of reminding me of the 1975 as well. Oh, it's just, just the physical intimacy of something and having that taken away, it is a very weird time of life. If you are around people 24 seven and you like, you socialize and went to clubs, now we're not really allowed to do that or it's highly frowned upon. But it, this is such a weird time, especially with politics and everything that happened. 2020 was a mess. It, it was a mess. I'm so ready for 2021, kind of. <laughs> them let me just let's let's have a chat shall we if you ha are having a very hard time and those friends decide to leave um no they weren't your friends it is very hard and i understand a lot of people have a lot of flaws and sometimes it can be very damaging but as someone who was diagnosed with bipolar this year for a lot of my life i didn't understand hey I take things sometimes and run with them <laughs> at 10,000 miles an hour and sometimes I'm very impulsive and I don't care. That sometimes can be damaging but I've lost a lot of friends to this but then I realized hey they are really really my friends if they were just gonna leave. So if you are like me or are struggling hey there are people who care about you. There are people who love you. And if you ever need a pep talk, meet me down in the comment section. Comment on my YouTube videos. I am always here, okay? Ooh, I love this song. We're hearting it. And also, if your album title track is a bob, come on now. reference to strawberries right did I get that was it a reference to strawberries excuse me excuse me yes it was I see you I see you oh I love the feng shui of this song is that is, is that a thing like a feng shui of the song 
parting it immediately. I love when songs are not clear cut in the same thing through an entire album. Thank you for changing it up. I appreciate you. Why do I love this song so much? I feel like he just kicked over a drum set. You damn straight is boring. Heart it. I'm 17 seconds into this goddamn track. Heart the shit. Ah! I'm back on my bullshit. You're a Libra. I'm a Taurus. Wait till I should be acting like that. Acting like that. Acting like that. I love MGK's voice, but I need to hear what Youngblood sounds like. Stop. Stop, sir. I would just like to say it's freezing in my room because like I can't have the heat on and listen to my music because it's not loud enough. But like, y'all, I'm, I'm feeling warm and places I should not. Yes, I love this track. Oh, you got their voices together. What? What? Okay, hold on, hold on. Back it up. Um. <laughs> This is not my OnlyFans channel. I can't remove my article of clothing, but this would be a song where my clothes would be off. <laughs> I, I have no shame. <laughs> and I feel like there were some Easter eggs in there about who they were talking about, but I'm not gonna get into them because it's their lives and I don't associate with that. I just love great music, so. But uh, I think we know, ish, ish. Maybe? I don't know. But I got a wonderful song out of it, so I don't care. Whee! Beautiful guitar. Ugh. And quantum play in silent suicide But everybody seems to make it beautiful oh if you are ever feeling this way please know that there is help please know that there is someone to talk to please know you're not alone like this album is so honest it's painful <laughs> uh last track on this album freak show i have hearted every single track on this album this is a gold-hearted album my friends unless this track for some reason plummets down into the depths of the sea which I'm pretty sure it's not going to, especially because it's called Freak Show. I'm hurting it, hurting it, hurting it! Ah! Show. One, three, two, one. Why is this reminding me of Marilyn Manson a little bit? They will try to change you because they are so afraid of you. Yes! Woo! 
Ooh, tattoo that on my body. Finally, it is the AM. <laughs> I am alive. I am not proud of this, but it is what it is. Um, I, I, I mean, what kind of drugs are we talking about? Because like, um, there are do's and then there are don'ts. <laughs> Giving me that Black Parade, My Chemical Romance vibe. It also is giving me like a Panic at the Disco vibe as well. I think Youngblood does it well of this reminds me of Panic at the Disco, but it is still Youngblood just because his vocals are distinguishable so well. My gosh. <laughs> Way to literally end an album. My God. Are your vocal cords okay, sir? <laughs> oh my God. It ended the way it began. With this kind of rally cry. I'm not going to give up. Please don't have you give up. I know it's tough right now. I know it's we're struggling. But don't give up. Keep going, keep trying, we will make it. I love that message, and it was carried out through this entire album. Gorgeous. Final thoughts. Wow, like, vocally, this is such a, like, straining album to make. And when I say straining, like, his vocal cords, I, like, I'm concerned. <laughs> I hope you did a lot of warm-ups. <laughs> I don't know if that helps you, but like, my god. And can we even talk about this album cover? That it has every single representation of maybe my high school or just in and of itself. Every single person that is a part of his fan base. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they can find someone they identify with on that cover. This is a gold-hearted album. Uh, I expect this from so many artists. But normally I don't get it, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because this is his style, and this is let me up the ante with each album. I don't know, but this is fantastic. God, I, I, I wish this would have came out earlier, just because it would have, I feel like it would have gotten some awards, but at the same time, I'm glad because I can listen to it, and it's something that we all can cherish. That's the end of my reaction. Let a girl know down in the comments section what you thought of the album. Did you think it was a gold-hearted album? Did you not like some of the tracks? Did you have a different opinion than I did? Did you also see some of the influences that I did? Let a girl know down below. If I missed anything, also let a girl know because I'm sure there's some Easter eggs all throughout this that I didn't get. But uh, like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. I will see you all in the next one. What shall we go back and listen to? Because like, I th there's just too many. There's too many. There's too many good tracks. I can't even go back and listen to them all. Because I, I really, if I go back and listen to one track, I'm gonna listen to all of them all over again. It's not fair. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.